Here's what would happen if we nuked Uranus. This might be one of the stinkiest planets in our solar system, but it's about to say smell you later forever. Today, we're using the baddest bombs on Earth to blow up this tilted, fart-smelling ice giant into extinction. Nuclear weapons pack staggering force. The low-yield bombs dropped on Japan in World War II still released the same explosive power as 15 to 20,000 tons of TNT. Using all 12 thousand of the world's warheads would mean thousands of Hiroshima-level blasts, enough to collapse civilization. But the distance between Earth and Uranus ranges from about 2.6 to over 3 billion kilometers, so even using our fastest spacecraft, it would take close to a decade for our nukes to even get there. And when the first bombs finally went off in Uranus's upper atmosphere, you wouldn't see a spectacular flash from Earth. At that distance, even massive explosions would appear far too faint to detect without specialized telescopes. But even though nuclear weapons can momentarily reach temperatures hotter than the surface of the sun, that wouldn't ignite Uranus's hydrogen. Its atmosphere just isn't dense or hot enough to sustain nuclear fusion. And besides, it contains far less hydrogen than Jupiter. Detonating every nuclear weapon humanity has ever built wouldn't come close to destroying Uranus. The planet's gravitational binding energy, the the energy required to pull it apart is trillions of times larger than the combined yield of all nuclear weapons on Earth. To actually blow Uranus apart, you'd need to unleash more energy than the sun puts out over several days, all in a single instant. That would mean trillions of megaton-class bombs, far beyond anything humanity could ever build. Phew, well, that's a relief, because 